<laughs> it's getting warmer out. The sun is shining. The birds are singing and you want to get out and explore and go on vacation and do all the yes. fun things that you do when it's warm out. And most people, well, they bring their sunglasses. But what if you don't have a sunglasses case? Oh, no. And what if you want one yeah. that's personal to you in your style? I do. I do. Same. So the Katie's have you covered in this <gasps> week's Crafting with the Katie's. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Katie. And welcome back to Crafting with the Katie's. Today we're going to be working on some sunglass holders. We've got plastic canvas. It's summertime now. Yeah. It's getting warmer outside and everyone needs their sunnies. So we're going to make a little carrying case that you can throw into your duffel bag, throw into your purse so it won't get scratched. Yeah. Let's get started. You'll need some plastic canvas sheets, yarn, needles and scissors. We found this idea on Pinterest and even watched a YouTube video. We want to cut two panels that are 22 squares by 47 squares. And I'm just going to cut as close as I can to this plastic so there's no like Weird. pokies. Thread your needle. We want to use two strands at a time. Because of the yarn kind of unspooled, I just twist it in whatever direction the yarn's going. Just fit it through the needle, like that. Basically what I do is just go, yeah, make sure it doesn't fall. Just go as long as I can, take it down the middle, and snip. Just like that. This makes the yarn twice as thick. We want our canvas completely covered so our sunglasses won't scratch. So we got the one that we went in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're just doing it diagonally. Are you, you're counting the, yep. um, the, the one, one that, that we're in. in? Yep. We're gonna start in the corner. Count diagonally to eight. Hold on to the tail of the yarn. You can tuck it in under your stitches. All right, so then, you're basically just gonna do a full loop down to the bottom again, neck right next door to it. And then this one will technically be seven, but you're just gonna go up next to it. Continue this process. The next stitch is only six squares diagonally. Then five, four, three, two. So now for this last one, you're just gonna go up straight through it and then what I like to do is, you're gonna go through it this way and then just go down through the plastic, like, like that, so that you can finish this other side. And then when you pull it, it'll just be like a little knob. Just like that. Now you've made a triangle. Finish up on the other half and you have a full square. When you're gonna start the next row, you wanna start in this hole here to share the border. You don't wanna start in the one next to it because that'll leave a plastic line. So the next one that we're doing is gonna be through this top part here. Got a little bit of a bundle. And then we're gonna go eight down. So you're counting this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. just like that. And then we're gonna go back up to the top here. Side down this way. And then just finish out your square. The case is going to be three squares across and six squares up and down. This part takes time. Just remember to alternate your squares, zigzag back and forth to create patterns. After you finish your squares, it's time to work on the top. Stitch up and down four squares apart to make this pattern. We're almost done with our panel here. Mm -hmm. The last thing that we have to do is just a quick stitch around the top part here, and then we're gonna sew them together to create our case.
We're just gonna sew along the sides of this, along this and along that and we're done. So you just wanna make sure that you've got everything lined up. So then we go like this, we trim, and we're done. So we're all set, we've got everything sewn up, and the sunglasses fit perfectly. Perfect. If you have a bigger frame, just add a little bit extra on the sides if you want. But these seem to fit our sunglasses perfectly. Yeah. They're gonna be great for the summer yep. and to be able to grab anything out of your bag. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you guys next week. Bye, everyone. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Hello. Guys. Hey, welcome to the floor, Katie. We're here. <laughs> All right, uh, you let me hold the case, yes. feel it. It's awesome. Yes, um, thank you. My biggest thing from your tutorial, mm -hmm. uh, how long did that take? It looked like it could take a million years. Yes, it does. T this is a longer craft that we definitely put together. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't say a million years, but it's <laughs> Less definitely under on a million years, you're right, you're right. <laughs> it's definitely, it will take you a couple hours to mm -hmm. do. Um, right. I know mine, Katie could whip through hers because she just has already done this. Um, I did about maybe two rows during our filming, which is about a couple hours. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just finished the rest I don't know, within another hour. So probably like half a day if right. you really wanted to sit down and do it. I mean, it's, it's not one of those. It's a nice sun, rainy Sunday craft. Right. Just yeah, put a yeah. show on or if you're binging a show or whatever and you're sitting Ooh, there and doing yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, good idea. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. not a bad little rainy day project. No. Yeah. Means. Now, no. you know, we always like to follow that up with this question. What was the price tag here? Money. Exactly. Because money, I mean, money, money. Something, something as nice as that, that's going to run you like 15, 20 bucks in a retail store. So how much did it cost to make this by hand? For all of the supplies, which include two sets of needles that we bought, it was like 10 bucks. Nice. So, Whoa. and we could, for the both of us. For both of us. For both. Yes. And there probably was enough supplies left wow. over that you could make a I third one if you wanted. Yeah. But then you also, you have the needles that can be used mm -hmm. in perpetuity. Again. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Again yeah. and again and again. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. And then you can just also make wallets out of this, the plastic canvas. Oh, that's cool. Or I think I've seen like actual like duffel bags, which would be a much bigger project, <laughs> <laughs> much longer, but it looked pretty cool for like the beach even. No, yeah. they yeah. even have kind of that self-closing kind of feel to them. Even mm -hmm. though. So yeah. That, oh, I mean, yeah. That's perfect. Super yeah. durable. They feel super durable is, is the thing I was so impressed by. Yeah. The other thing is going to keep your sunglasses from getting too hot too when you leave them in the car. I leave them on the dash and I get hot and like, no. Ooh. Or or when it's cold out and you go to put on your sunglasses and, they and they're cold <laughs> on your face. We don't talk about winter anymore. We're in the summer now. <laughs> so right? We're going to make sure all of this information, it's all going to be on 9and10news.com.